Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland. This is Let Me Bore You to Sleep. And I do believe it may be number 98. And it might not be. But I think it is for some reason. I don't know why I've got that in my brain. Hmm. So I haven't done one of these for f- two or three days. I like to have a little break now and then. A little rest. A little bit of relaxing time. Bit of regeneration, you know. Bit of recuperation. bit of healing, a little bit of healing. Bit of television. So only please only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes. And if you're watching on YouTube, please only watch this when you can safely close your eyes as well as subscribing so thank you very much and the whole point of these sessions is just that I talk I talk to you or I talk at you for you know roughly an hour and the intention is that I just bore you into a sense of comfort I bore you into feeling relaxed. I bore you into a sense of tiredness. Looseness and you can just let go. Because what you may find, especially if you are a regular listener or viewer of the videos, is that as soon as you hear my voice, you may have that familiar feeling of comfort relaxation spreading through your body and safety to just let go of any thoughts in your mind And in the meantime, I'm just going to talk about stuff, none of which is necessarily going to be relevant to 
anything. It might be. It might not be. I don't know. Because I don't know what I'm going to talk about. So I think last week, because it's Monday now, so the last time I did one of these was probably maybe Friday, Thursday or Friday, and I had a couple of days where I was talking about Valentine's. So for those of you that are thinking all good Won't have to hear about Jason's non-existent love life for another year. Ha <laughs> ha, well, well. I may bring it up at various intervals throughout the period leading up to the next obvious opportunity to focus on the subject which is perhaps valid for just one day a year but I like to spread some of those feelings of romance sprinkle you know just Shed the seed on the ground. If that sounds wrong, but you know, just spread the the love, the the romance, like a like a broken egg falling off a bridge. So. The romancy stuff's gone. But I was just doing a recording just now. Well, before I had my breakfast. And I've started this new season of recordings aimed at uh, anxiety uh, called Short Anxiety Relief. I think, yeah. I've only done three so far. And I was talking about setting up triggers around the house and around, you know, where you you live, where you work. If you've got, you know, I don't know, a shed in your garden, um, just something that you can look at it and it can be a trigger to relax and feel calm and feel... Uh, a sense of maybe love even it's got me thinking that my walls are quite bare and perhaps it's time that I got a little bit more in touch with my my child my inner child I think I'm quite in touch with my inner child verbally because I am quite silly Um, especially for my age but perhaps it would be nice to start getting some pictures and doing a few bits and decorating this flat of mine but in a way that please (laughs) pleases me visually perhaps so I'm going to look into that look into where I can get hold of some posters and some pictures and um, I quite like to have some stuff from the past so for, I'll give an example like a poster of Mork and Mindy 
so that to me would be just really cool to have on the wall or a a picture I'm trying to think what kind of pictures I would have when I was a kid I wasn't allowed to have any rude ones they were all you know it'd be like pop stars or film stars I think the most uh the only I can't believe I'm telling you this the only post that I had when I was a kid which I got any kind of um, extra enjoyment out of yet my parents thought was very safe and was fine was I had a picture of Sharon Davis and she was a swimmer, an Olympic swimmer, back in early 80s, I suppose. And so there was a picture of her in her swimming costume, I guess. And I had a, I could say I had a bit of a crush on, on young Sharon for a while and I had her on my wall that sounds bad doesn't it I had her on my wall um, you know the picture of her because I used to have this magazine called Looking and it used to be a it was kind of like a, a television magazine and used to have so there used to be comic strips in it as well so at one point they had uh, comic strips of Mork and Mindy they had comic strips of well, apparently Bless This House but that was before my time because Bless This House was the 70s and that finished as a TV sitcom with um, Sydney James. So that was uh, the reason I know about this is because the film of Bless This House was on yesterday, and I think it was from 1972. And the, you know, I was two years old then, so it was way, way, way before my time. Um, as far as being aware of what I was watching, and I didn't watch, I didn't have Look In magazine or the comic until I was probably, maybe, <clears throat> excuse me, maybe I was eight. Maybe I was younger, maybe I was seven or eight when I got it. But I had it for years, I had it all the way through my childhood. That and the dandy. But every, and it was every week I think. It might have been fortnightly, but I think it was every week. And there'd be posters of singers. Uh, like Adam and the Ants, or Shaking Stevens. Madness, I suppose, Duran Duran, you know, things like that, Wham. And as well as that, I also used to have the lyrics to the songs. So I remember I was in junior school, which I left when I was 10, and I started high school when I was 11. So I, I suppose the holidays for junior school finished, I finished there in, and this is summer holidays, probably June. So June time, I think, or maybe July, because summer holidays used to last for about six weeks. So June or July, 19... 81 
is when I left junior school and I yeah I left there but I was 10 when I left but I was 11 in the August and I started at high school in uh, September I guess and I was 11 but I was one of the youngest kids in my year because a couple of weeks into the term still in September some of the other kids were turning 12 and I I only just turned 11 I remember thinking I've only just turned 11 I remember thinking that and the next year I've only just turned 12 and they're 13 and then the next year but I've only just turned 13 but they're 14 and then the next year I've only just turned 14 but they're 15 and then the next year I've only just turned 15 but they're 16 so in the last year because I was at high school for 5 years Five long wasted years I could have learnt something in that time because I already knew how to read and write before I went to high school so I don't think I really learnt much at all I could have learnt how I could have learnt a trade I could have learnt how to uh, no, I wasn't really very interested in practical stuff but you know I could have learned how to do hypnosis at that age maybe I could have learned I think that would be good to send children to academies for something that they really love doing like a kind of like a I suppose a Hogwarts kind of thing but because they do with they do that's who's who's this who's they but I know that sometimes because there are places like tennis academies and football academies where teenagers will be sent and you know they I imagine they get their education there as well but it's mainly about the football and isn't it amazing it's like so you're 14 years old or 13 years old and you get a football team wants you to go and live with them and you know that if it works out you're going to be earning millions of pounds a year Possibly at the age of 16, 17. It's amazing, isn't it, really? You think about it. No such money in hypnosis. The only way, really, to make money out of this is if I wrote some books. Yeah. So I might, I might do that. I'm just trying to think. Maybe it's time I was a millionaire. Yeah. I'm not fussy. I'm not greedy. But nice. It'd be nice to be financially stable. Or is it the term financially independent? So that I never have to earn another penny if I don't want to. And then I can just have fun and enjoy it, which is what I want to do anyway. I don't want to wait until I've got money in the bank before I start enjoying uh, the fruits of my labour. I think some of the things I most enjoy about this work I do online is 
when I, and it doesn't happen very often, but when I get a message through uh, or comment, I prefer it when it's a comment because then other people can read it. But uh, telling me how I've helped them. But quite often it's a personal message, so uh, no one else gets to read it. I think YouTube is pretty good on that level though because it encourages people to leave comments and uh, the whole format of YouTube is that part of it has been stable you know the comments section although it's different now there used to be a time when you used to be able to make a video response so if someone put, posted a video about I don't know talk to you know saying that you know they can there should be a uh, a sports section in the Olympics specifically for albino chickens you know and you say oh okay cool And you might say, well, why? And I might answer, why, why not? Seems a bit of a strange request, but... I suppose we've all got our different needs. Different wants. Different longings. I'd quite like to be taller. But I know that it's not going to happen. And as I'm getting older, I'm probably going to get shorter. Which is a little bit annoying. That's why I like first thing in the morning. Cause, or whatever time I get up. Because I'll be about an inch short, taller. Than normal. I tell you a good, what, a good thing to do. If you are, you know, living a life as a, a relatively short person, and I'm I'm five foot eight, so I'm just about I can just about get get by. Although I am still shorter than average, for a man in my country, is about five foot ten. So I'm a couple of inches shorter than the average, um, but not enough to make a huge, huge sort of difference. Which is all right, not that bothered though. It's just height, isn't it? Sometimes that's all it ever is. It's just height, height differences, doesn't matter. Who cares, it's just, Oh, I'm five foot three. I'm for five foot eight. Oh, that's nice. So, what should we talk about now? It's it's not a very interesting subject, is it? Height. We're all different heights, apart from those that are the same height. I like the idea of being tall. I just like the idea of having to duck my head when going through doorways. Just, just the novelty of it just appeals to me but if you are perhaps not very tall and you want to feel tall there's a really good way of doing it is it doesn't involve high heels or stilts basically all you need is some uh what are they called bifocals or trifocals where you've got close yeah I think distance was at the top and close was at the bottom of the lens I think 
So what it did is it the distance was fine when you look at the top for the top you know the first the first half of the lens the top half but then the, the bottom half would be magnified more or less I'm not sure it looks like you're further away from the ground than you actually are Or it might be the other lens, the other way around, but it's one of those where you walk and like, oh, you feel like you're a foot taller. It's a very, very pleasant feeling, depending upon whether or not you enjoy pleasant feelings connected with height, you know. Because we're all different, aren't we? We've all got our own personal preferences about what we like to do and like to say and who we like to say it with and do it with. And I think that's what makes the human race uh, so mildly interesting at times. At times. Not all the time, not part of the time, or maybe part of the time, but not regularly, as often as regular may sound or imply that. I've been thinking about, should I get a bigger telly? I quite like the telly I've got. It's just for things like uh, subtitles, I could do with probably a few more inches would be nice. I mean, it's probably not the first man to request that, but because I've got 30. Is it 36 inches or 32? It might be 36. So if I could get maybe a 42 inch telly. No, ideally, I think a 70 inch would be brilliant. I'd like to have one on the wall and then get the attachment so there's never going to be the, the attachment's always going to... Yeah. I think. I forget what I'm talking about. I don't know if the tell is... Uh, like a big telly but I don't know how big I'd want it because sometimes I get that I move my chair I've got this big black squeaky chair which is a recliner and I've had it for about a year two over two years maybe three years starting to wear out now but there's been times when I've moved the chair forward so it's closer to the television just to um, well just to see how it feels and it felt as if the television was too close to my chair and it didn't really feel very comfortable for me. So in the end, what I decided was to move the chair 
back to its original position. I say original position, but who knows? I mean, it might not have been exactly in the precise place where it had been resting previous to my you know tampering or ideas about moving closer towards a television in the hope of maybe having a volume down but also relaxing feeling calm feeling relaxed feeling loose and lots of words that I say over and over again and again therefore you too can also enjoy these feelings of comfort and relaxation that I also am experiencing in this moment. So it's quite nice to share at times, unless, well, some things aren't nice to share. Diarrhea is one thing, it's not very nice to share. Food poisoning colds, flu they're nice, not nice to share I'm not much of a sharer if I'm honest went into a restaurant with some friends a few years with us 13 years ago or four, 12 years ago and uh, 13 years and I was in there and my friend said do you want to get some dessert to share and I, I said, no, I really don't. So she said to the, to the waiter, I said, so you don't want any dessert? I said, uh, no, that's not what I said. I said, I don't want to share it. And people were laughing. The other people that get, you know, people that I was with were laughing, thinking I was joking. I don't joke about stuff like that when it comes to dessert. I think it was a toffee sponge, toffee cake kind of with ice cream. I'm not sharing that. I'll share a lot of things and I'll devote a lot of my time to helping people, but I will not share toffee cake. So I hope this has been of use to you and particularly boring but I need to go because I need to go to the toilet <laughs> speak to you next time bye